Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Cincy Game Hunting. I have to apologize, it has been a minute since I uploaded a video. But Walmart this week had a bunch of big markdowns. And I figured we should hop on here and do a video about it real quick. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram and Twitter slash X, um, I do post all the deals that I find on there. And I did post a community post here on YouTube to let people know to check out those sites to find these games quicker because the video doesn't always get out before the deals start going away. Um, so here, back to Walmart. They're doing a big markdown this week on a bunch of games. Uh, most games are priced between $10 and $30. Uh, honestly, I don't consider it a clearance week really because they don't really marking clearance tags on a lot of things, um, but they are marking things down and a lot of these games are fairly recent releases that I'm surprised are being marked down so quickly. Um, so anyway, let's get into it real quickly here. I figured to start off with, we're gonna kind of do a couple walkthroughs of the Walmarts that I went to. I didn't record every Walmart I went into because a lot of these, I was either on a lunch break at work or I was on the way to work and I didn't have a lot of time. So uh, I did shoot a couple of uh, Walmarts to kind of give you an idea of what to look for. Um, some of these deals are marked. Actually, majority of them I've noticed at stores that do have them are marked. Now, not every Walmart yet has these marked down. So bear that in mind. Not every Walmart will have them. Um, but you never know until you go look. A lot of people have been telling me on uh, social media that like, you know, it says that it's off. It says it's not available in their area. Yeah, the website's garbage, dude. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna be straight with you there. Uh, they don't really do a good job of keeping inventory on the stores on the website um, because every game that I look for there, for the most part, there's a couple of games that do show online that they are available in store, but majority of the ones aren't listing the ones in store being available. And sometimes there's only like two or three copies available in each store. Some of them have been sold out already. Um, but yeah, don't trust the website. If you really want to find these deals, you probably need to go to your local store and see if they have them. Another thing you have to watch out for, uh, a couple of these have been not marked. So a lot of the stores in my area have marked them, some have not. So you gotta be careful with that. And uh, yeah, the, if, you, if you have Walmart Plus, or I think you can, if you log into the Wi-Fi at Walmart, you can use their scanning tool and it'll show the store. I don't know the quirks of it anymore. Like it used to be that you could just go to every store and just scan it with this Walmart app and find out what the price was in that store, but they've kind of had weird things popping up with their app now. Anyway, let's get into the video here. Um, here's the first Walmart I went into. Let's get a little bit of a, a quick look and see what we saw in this Walmart. Um, starting off with uh, Catan, $10 on the Switch. Now, I'm not a big Catan fan. I never really played it that much, so that's not a big deal for me. But Among Us on uh, the Switch, I actually picked that up for my son for $10. That's a, not, that's a really good deal. Disney Illusion Island was not available at the store, but that's a great deal for $20. Uh, Kirby, I want to say I've seen this before at the store for $30. So it may not be a new markdown, but that's still a markdown for the game compared. Uh, Crash 4 and Crash Bandicoot, the trilogy. I think Spyro was available for $20. Fire Emblem Engage, $20 there as well. Fae Farm, that's a relatively new release for $30. Um, and, I mean, you can't beat that one bit. Uh, Mario and Sonic, the, the Olympic Games, meh. Uh, Star Ocean, that is a fairly recent game for only $20. That's a pretty sweet deal. Uh, Rune Factory is an old deal. Uh, Sonic Colors, not really that great of a deal on that one. Near Automata, or Automata. I can always mess that word up. $10 for that game is a steal. Grab that if you can. Uh, let's see, what else we got? In the Xbox section, that Starfield add-on is only $20. I think that was normally $40 to $50 to start off with. Um... The uh, Forza Motorsport for $30, a pretty sweet deal on that. I don't really need to buy that because I have Game Pass on my Xbox, so that's not a big deal for me. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, The Witcher for $20 this is, is available on both Xbox and PS5, so keep an eye out for that one. Uh, Star Wars Skywalker Saga for $10, pretty sweet. Uh, I've seen this couple stores. The uh, Midnight Suns, the Marvel Midnight Suns, that's only $10 at a couple stores. But uh, yeah, oh, Payday 3, I saw it in the bottom corner there. That's also $20 on both Xbox and PS5. All right, moving along here, what else did we get? Uh, don't remember there being anything else in the Xbox section on this one. Uh, let's see, the PlayStation. Don't see, where were the, do you think they were on the second rack? I might have got, gotten to them late. Oh, uh, 
Armored Core was down to thirty dollars on both Xbox and uh, PlayStation. Uh, Horizon was down a little cheaper than that in some places. Cult of the Lamb, $20. That's not a bad deal. I've seen it for 17 before at Walmart. Uh, Hitman uh, World of Assassins, three games for 20 bucks. That's a good deal for PS5. Uh, Grand Turismo for $20 on PS4 only. Uh, Metal Gear Solid, the collection, it was $30 on both PS5 and Switch. And uh, I want to say that the, uh, the Kart Racers is $10 in most places as well, so... Not a bad deal. Uh, oh, Road to the Masters on PGA Tour uh, is twenty dollars. That's I contemplated getting that one. I just picked up Two K Twenty Three, and I haven't played it yet. I want to make sure I get all the best out of that. Uh, I've seen Modern Warfare Three pop up a couple places for uh, thirty dollars on PS Four only, the cross-platform version. All right, that's the end of that Walmart. Let's go to the next one. All right, moving on to the second Walmart. Now, this store kind of does their own deals uh, along with the the deals that are everywhere. Uh, like I said earlier, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is $30 at some stores on PS4 only. Uh, a lot of the other Call of Duty games are popping up for $30 as well. Uh, well again, Metal Gear Solid, $30 on Switch and PS5. Masters, again, $20, nothing, nothing new there. Um, there are some games that were Switch and uh, PS5 both, which was like Stunning Star Ocean was one of those. Witcher again, the Xbox and PS5 are both available for $20. Uh, Payday 3, $20 on both Xbox and PlayStation 5. Uh, let's see, what else did we have up here? Oh, here's one of the big ones coming up. Unicorn Overlord. That game came out last month. $30 on that one. That's pretty amazing. And here's the one that I was most excited about, Dragon Quest Monsters for $30. Now, I don't, you know me, I don't like spending a lot of money on games. $15, $20 is usually the most I spend, but for a Dragon, Dragon Quest game, I will spend up for it. For That yeah, was a pretty awesome deal. Uh, that's half off the normal price. And here's some of the deals that are local brand, local deals for that store. Uh, Big Brain Academy was only 10 bucks. I think Last Kids on Earth was $10. Here's Illusion Island. Uh, that one was another $20 deal. That's a lot of one a lot of people were excited about. Uh, that's a pretty cool game. It's like art, the art style with the old uh, animation. Here's some deals here. PS, uh, there were some three cent games that were popping up. Um, they weren't selling them, but for some reason this store decided to mark them anyway. Uh, the three games that I noticed that were listed on that were... Uh, oh, for like Shimigami, Tensei, Shimigami Tensei for $10 steal. I already have the game, so I didn't need to buy it. Uh, let's see. Let me pause the video for one second. The three games that I remember seeing for three cents were Advance Wars, which blew my mind. I was so mad that they three cented that one out because they wouldn't sell it. Um, a Mario Strikers on the Switch, and what was the third one? Oh, Everybody One Two Switch, which kind of deserves to be a three cent game. Um, but Advance Wars, really? Why are they why are they three centing that one out already? Uh that's a bummer. I, I was hoping to find that one for cheap. I told the guy, I'm like, I wish they would just mark it down to 10 bucks. I would have bought it in a second. Anyway, moving on. Uh, so you see Mario Strikers here. Or not Mario Strikers. Uh, Persona, Persona 5 Strikers. So many Striker games out there. Only 10 bucks on that one. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I noticed at a lot of stores, even though this one says $30 with a bright tag, it was $30 in a lot of stores. Spyro Trilogy has been spotted at a lot of stores for, t uh, for $20. There's Nier again. And Pokemon uh, Shining Pearl was another one that was popular for $30 in a lot of places. Tony Hawk Pro Skater was listed at $20 at a lot of stores that I went to. So, yeah, got a good deal popping up at this one. And there's a couple extra Xbox games for you. Most of them are ones you've already seen. Forza Motorsport, $30 again, like you saw. Um, majority of the best deals on this were mainly Switch games. Uh, the best deals that I found, at least, uh, said I kind of wish Starfield was one. They they, they three setted Starfield out like a couple months ago, but they left the add-on pack on the shelves. I don't understand that logic. But uh, here's two more ten dollar games. We got Star Wars again, Midnight Suns again. Uh, another three cent game. We got Tony Hawk Pro Skater one and two on the Xbox for three cents. So they they got rid of that one. And it, the guy told me they're just throwing them out, which blows my mind. Uh, local deal here, the quarry. I've seen that in a couple stores for five dollars, uh, so that can be found for five dollars at other stores. But it's kind of a hit and miss one, not a widespread deal. Anyway, 
that's the majority of what we were seeing at the Walmarts. Uh, pretty good deals if you look at them, guys. Um, you can't complain about ten dollar, you know, twenty dollar games. I said I there were a couple thirty dollar games that I did grab, just because like I'm a fan of RPGs and thirty dollars for these games were actually a pretty good deal. All right, going into what I actually got at this tra at this sale, we're gonna go into the PlayStation games first, and then uh, we're gonna talk about uh, the Switch games that we got. First of all, the only PS4 game that I grabbed. I don't remember if I showed it to you in the video. It was popping up at every store, only on the PS4, though. AEW Fight Forever. Um, not a huge wrestling fan, but I love playing a game every once in a while. Like I like the, I like the old wrestling games on the N64. Um, I played them all the time when I was a kid with my buddy, and uh, I still enjoy occasionally just playing a quick wrestling game. So picking that up for $10... I'm fine with that. Uh, I pen I kind of hemmed and hawed on this one because I'm not huge into wrestling, but for ten bucks, we'll do it. We ended up picking up Star Ocean Second Story R on the PS5. I always try to grab the PS5 version over a Switch version if I have a choice. Now this game probably wouldn't have mattered much because the graphic style on this would have been not much different between the Switch and the PS5. So it's kind of a choose your own adventure thing. I just usually grab PS5 versions if I have a choice. Um, this game, I actually have the Hitman games, I believe, on PS4, but I figured why not? All three of them for 20 bucks. I'll trade the copies that I have and keep this one together so I'm not having three boxes instead of one. Um, and these are all PS5 versions of the games, so Hitman 1, 2, and 3 on the PS5 for 20 bucks. That was a pretty sweet deal. Now, here are the cheapies that I got. First of all, the $10 games. Near Automata for 10 bucks. Like I said, steal of a deal. This game is awesome. If you haven't played it yet, grab it, play it. Fantastic game. Uh, I played all the Near games back on PS3 and uh, Xbox 360 as well. Um, but great port. Even the Switch version is very good from what I've heard. So I've only played it on PS4. So, uh, but yeah, Near Automata for $10. And I picked this up for my son. He's been wanting to play Among Us on his Switch. And uh, I figured, why not? This comes with some bonus stuff, I'm sure, for the Crewmate Edition. Ten bucks. We'll do it. Now, $20 game that I got, of course, was Illusion Island. This game looks pretty cool. The art style looks fantastic. It's like the old uh, Disney art style that they played it off of. And, and actually, kind of, kind of a mixture of that and with the, uh, the newer... Um, I don't know what you call it, Disney Plus shows that they do now that kind of use the old art style. So that'd be kind of cool to try to play at for a little bit here. It's a little platformer. It's a fun little Disney game to play for 20 bucks. It's not that old of a game either. Like I said earlier, Dragon Quest Monsters. I'm picking this up for 30 bucks. I'm sorry. Dragon Quest is my bread and butter. Uh, I love this game. Uh, I, I own almost every Dragon Quest game there. The only one I don't have is Rocket Slime and this one. So now I have this one. I'll sooner or later I'll find Rocket Slime, but I don't know. But uh, of all the games of the Dragon Quest series I've fallen in love with throughout the years, R.I.P. Akira Toriyama. Uh, he passed away recently. He's the guy that does the artwork for these games um, and Dragon Ball. If you don't know, uh, but he passed away uh, suddenly about a couple weeks ago, I believe, maybe a month ago. Um, but yeah, Dragon Quest Monsters for thirty bucks. Awesome deal. A lot of the people on the uh, on my social media were asking me to like if I had an extra copy of this that I could mail to them. I'm like, guys, go find them. I mean, that's, uh, the idea of me giving you these ideas is to go find them yourself. I understand not every area has them, and I didn't find them. This is one of the hardest ones to find in my area. I think I only saw two copies the entire time, and I wasn't planning on picking up multiple. So, yeah, thirty bucks for that. Now, this is the one that surprised me the most. As I said in the, earlier in the video. Unicorn Overlord came out last month. <laughs> um, to be marked down to half price. And the weird thing is I looked at it on price charting. It was listed as going for almost $100 for a new copy. I'm like, why? I mean, it's still available at a lot of stores. I mean, GameStop still has it brand new, I'm pretty sure. So why is it going online for on eBay and all that stuff for $100? bucks? I, I don't get it. I'm sure the price is going to tank because everybody, all everybody's going to be buying this up and try to sell it on eBay. I'm sure, and it's going to tank the price down, which is fine with me. I don't care. 
picking it up for 30 bucks. I love grabbing an RPG, an Atlas game at that, for only 30 bucks. Why not? I said, it's a month old. Why is this game on sale already? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said before, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Cincy Game Hunt is my uh, tag on there if you want to try and find me. Uh, I post all the deals right when this was happening so that people could find them before the video appeared, and I wanted to make sure everybody had a chance. Um, do me a favor, don't ever try to ask me which store I bought it. Especially, you know, a lot of local folks will ask me that, and I'm like, I don't really want to like be like saying, hey, go check this store and this store, and then it gets wiped out, and then nobody has a chance. And I, I kind of do this to give you an idea of what to find. I don't want to do your hunting for you. Uh, so, you guys, this video is meant to give you an idea of where to uh, find the games or how to find the games, and it's up to you to kind of go and find it in your local area. And like I said, don't trust the website. Go to your local store and see if they had the deals, because a lot of times the website says they don't, and they do. Anyway, guys, I hope this video is helpful for you guys, and uh, we are going to try and uh, get this up as quick as possible so more people can find these deals before they run out of stock. And uh, hopefully we'll have some more videos for you in the next few weeks here. And uh, until next time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't end the video yet. <laughs> um, I was literally coming home from work today after recording the ending of the video and found some more deals. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the same, uh, one of the same stores that I actually bought a lot of the games from earlier marked even more games down. So, yeah, get out there and try to find some games. All of these were under $20. The first group, these were all $5 games. Riders Republic, not a, you know, a highly sought after game, but I figured why not? For five bucks, I'm gonna play it. Uh, you gotta play it online, apparently, so it is what it is, but uh, I'll, I've will i been kind of waiting for this to get to $5 so I can pick it up. It's thrift store prices, you know, thrift store games. Another game we got for five bucks. Sniper Elite 5. $5 for a war game. These games are hilarious, by the way. I mean, it's probably not hilarious, but like when you shoot a shot on Sniper Elite and it hits somebody, it shows you how it's impacting them in their body, whether it be a headshot or, you know, through the body or whatnot, and shows you the injury. It's wild. Uh, here I play a Sniper Elite game, you don't know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, Sniper Elite 5 is only five bucks. We also got... Motocross, excuse me, Supercross 6, uh, the Monster Energy Supercross uh, Championship game for the PS5. That was $5 as well. Sonic Origins Plus on the PS4 was only 5 bucks. This is a value. This is great value. F you know, 16 games for $5? Why not? For some reason, the other versions, I think I think the, the uh, Xbox version is also 5 bucks as well. We grabbed World of Outlaws on the Switch for $10. Bucks. Uh, honestly... I love racing games. I actually think I have this on PS4, or maybe Xbox, one of the two. But I wouldn't mind having a, a one to take with me on the road if I'm on a trip or something like that, because why not? Throw it in the Switch, play some racing for a little bit. And this is actually a good racing game, because it's made by the folks at uh, iRacing and uh, Monster Games. It's not that crap that NASCAR's been putting out recently with, uh, was it, Motorsports Games. But World of Outlaws, 10 bucks. No Man's Sky on the Switch for 10 bucks. Now, I'm sure this won't play anywhere near as good as the Xbox version that I have. I have it digitally, which I don't know why I did that. Um, yeah, picking this up on the Switch for 10 bucks. This game's wild, by the way. It takes a lot of time to get started on it, but like, it's so expansive that you can be playing it forever and probably never get around to finishing it, so. Uh, yeah, No Man's Sky, 10 bucks. Uh, I almost picked this up on PS5, but I figured I'll grab it on Switch because that way my son can play it if he wants to. Uh, this is the Nickelodeon Kart Racers, the newer version, the number three, if you will. Uh, it's a game mill game, so those are kind of meh, and usually anyway, but uh, we'll grab it up for, you know, cheap. This is a game my son has been wanting to play on the Switch for a while. Every time we go to the to, uh, GameStop, he always wants to play on the kiosk. This was $10 as well. Unfortunately, it wasn't the Switch version. It was the PS5 version. Lego 2K Drive on uh for only it's only 10 bucks it apparently comes with a a game or a, a car inside of it too so it's a big box copy 10 bucks i said i let andrew play on this on the playstation for fun i bought two games that were a little more expensive they're 20 dollars games 
I've been wanting to grab this for cheap for a little while, and you guys are gonna be like, why? Formula One 23. Now, if y'all know me, I've been talking about, I used to live in Las Vegas. So Formula One just put Las Vegas on the schedule this past year, and this is the first game to actually have that track on the schedule. So I've been wanting to pick it up for a while, grabbed it for 20 bucks on the PS5, pretty sweet. And the last one we got was Diablo 4 on the PS5. Only $20 for this one as well. Guys, get out there. Try to find what you can find. Get what you can while you can. These deals won't stick around very long. I, I think Walmart is starting to size down their physical game section. And I've noticed a couple of uh, spots actually sizing their sections down already. So get, get the games while you can. You don't know how long it's going to last for. And uh, guys, sorry for the fake out. But until next time, keep hunting.